Hi, and welcome to episode seven of the Terranique Show. Today, we're going to talk about why your go-to products have stopped working for you. Have you, has it ever happened to you where you have been doing this style for a while? So you've been wearing a twist style for a while or wash and go for a while, and then you all of a sudden don't get the same results that you know that you should be getting. Like what's happening? Your, your hair isn't curling like it used to, or you know, when you use an edge control gel that you've been using for a long time, your, your edges aren't laying down and you're kind of you know, frustrated and confused as to why this, it, this is happening. And it's happened to, you know, most of us, if not all of us, that the things that we're used to just stop working, the products just stop working like they used to and our hair looks differently. And it's a cause for, you know, confusion and you don't know what to do. So apart from the actual products that you're using, the formula changing, that means the brand or the company that you bought the products from, they actually have changed the formula of their products. And that is why you've seen, the, you've seen the differences in your hair. Apart from that, there are other reasons why you know your hair is reacting differently to the same products or to the same technique. Usually when you know product a product formula changes, you will get a heads up. The brand will say, hey, we've made some changes, we've added some ingredients, or we've taken some ingredients away. So what you could do is go on that brand's website and check out to see if there are any updates and um, in the formula or why this changed. If not, one of the major causes that a product stops working like it usually would work is hard water buildup, right? So if you're in the shower and you notice that the fixtures in the shower, sometimes, you know, in between you cleaning out your shower, they have like the, like the soap scum or, you know, the shiny part of the shower, the knobs, they get like this kind of water stain or even the shower head itself, you will see like some gunk around the rings of the shower. What that essentially means is that there is some hard water built up coming out of the, the water in the shower head, right? So what you'll have to do is get a cleaner that is specific for soap scum or hard water buildup to remove that this the gunk or it's almost like a orangey color sometimes and sometimes it could turn green you would have to get a spray bottle or a product that is a cleaning product that is specific for removing hard water buildup and once you let the product the the product that you bought sit on the shower head you'll notice that all that limestone will start to be removed, right? And your shower head will look pristine or new. So the same thing that happens with the shower head where you have this buildup that you can see visibly happens to your hair strands. So if, you're, if you are not using the correct products that have cleansing agents in them to remove the gunk and the buildup, just as you had to use a product specific for removing that soap scum or that hard water buildup, you need to use shampoo, shampoos that contain cleansing agents to remove the buildup from your strands. So let's dive a little deeper into what happens when the hard water buildup sits on the strand. So just imagine um, this, this pen is a, is a strand of hair. 
and it's constantly being watered with hard water. So the particles start to build up on the pen. And if you are not using a cleansing agent, say um, you would clean this with, with like a dishwashing liquid that has cleansing agents in it, then this pen will be completely coated with the hard water buildup that's coming from the water. So when you use a cleansing agent that breaks up the hard water buildup and removes and removes it so that you can see the smooth look of the pen. The same thing happens with your strands. If you are constantly co-washing your hair with conditioners that are meant for conditioning the hair and not removing product buildup, then you're gonna have the hard water buildup and you're gonna have product buildup. That's two sets of buildup on your hair because you're not using a cleansing agent to remove the buildup. So use a shampoo that is a lot of naturals like sulfate free shampoos. Use a shampoo that is sulfate free but has cleansing agents in it to remove hard water buildup and product buildup. You also want to be shampooing your hair at least once a week. If you cannot do once a week, try to do every week and a half. The longer you take to remove the product buildup, the worse damage will happen to the strand. And what happens to your strands when you do not use a shampoo to remove the product buildup is you start to see that your hair becomes less elastic. Less elasticity means that it will not curl like it used to or is intended to curl. When it becomes less elastic, it will also be more susceptible to breaking. So you will see that your hair will be brittle and break. Also, it will, will become dull. The look of it will become dull. That's because moisture cannot penetrate into the cuticle because there's this layer of hard water buildup on top of the strand. So you have less elasticity. Uh, you have, it isn't dull, it's dull, it's not shiny anymore, and it becomes brittle and that's where breakage comes in. Secondly, if you see that your go-to products are no longer working for you, it can be because of product buildup. So if you're not shampooing properly, then you have the hard water buildup and on top of that product buildup. So if you're using products that, so gels, gels are made to define your curls, to mold your curls. So if you're using products like gels or if you're using curl creams that have butters in it, they're made to moisturize the hair and define the hair. And if they have like the butters, maybe a hobo oil, coconut oil, shea butter, all of that, think about all of those different ingredients from the products that you use. If you're using a leave-in conditioner, which is more lightweight, it has um, lighter ingredients in it, but still think of the leave-in conditioner, the gel, the foam, the edge control, all of these products are being placed on your hair and not being washed away properly if you're not using a cleansing agent such, such as a shampoo. So you want to use a cleansing agent or if you've been not shampooing your hair properly and you notice that you have product buildup, maybe you wanna take it a step further and use a scalp detox. We have a great scalp detox, which is our mask e scalp detox, and it's made from neem, chamomile, blueberries. And what it does is it scrubs the scalp, it gently scrubs the scalp, and gently scrubs the strands of the hair to remove years, weeks, months of hard water and product buildup. Right, it gently strips all of that away by leaving your natural oils in the hair. 
What you would do with our Mask E Scalp Detox is you would place it on the scalp and you would rub it in, massage it into the hair. And I'll show you how it looks. So this is how it looks. And the consistency of it is kind of like a smoothie. So we like to look, look at this as a smoothie, but for the hair, if you can see it in the camera. If you guys are listening to me on the podcast, we do film the show live on YouTube and our YouTube panel is at The Terranique Show. So you'll see the, the neem leaves there and the blueberries are in there. So to gently scrub away hard water and product buildup without stripping the scalp and the hair of its natural oils. So if you are experiencing that your products aren't working or your hair looks dry, dull, breakage, brittle, it may be because you have hard water buildup or product buildup. Thirdly, your products are not working. Your go-to products are not working like they used to because you have heat damage. So with heat damage hair, what happens is the heat from the flat iron, the blow dryer, or whatever heat element you're using, that changes the structure of the hair. And that it, the process is called denaturation. It changes the entire structure of the hair to where it used to be curly, but now it's straightened out. And unfortunately, no matter how many times you wash your hair, shampoo your hair, no matter what, it will not turn back once the hair has been chemically changed, the structure has been permanently changed by heat damage. So the solution with heat damage, and you'll know if your hair is heat damaged because you'll wash it and you'll notice that this section just is not curling back. You wash it maybe say three times. After you wash it three times and you notice that it's not turning back, then it's completely heat damaged. And the only way to get rid of that is to trim it off. So what you would do, if you don't wanna trim the entire portion of your hair that's heat damaged, you would trim it off in stages, right? So a couple of weeks go by and you trim a little and you keep trimming it until the all of the heat damage hair is gone. Unfortunately, there is no solution for heat damage at this time other than trimming um, the, the heat damage ends off. So of course, your gels, your foams will not work. It will not curl your hair if it is heat damaged because that hair is permanently now straightened. It's almost just like a relaxer. But there are solutions for maintaining the heat damaged hair. For example, you can use flexi rods, straw, straw um, curlers, you can use rollers that match your the, the width of your curls to blend in the heat damage part of the hair. So if you're doing a wash and go, or if you're doing a twist out style, you can actually just use flexi rods or perm rods at the ends of your hair so that it shapes the heat damage part of the hair to blend in with the rest of your hair that is not heat damaged. So the, that's a good option. Fourthly, if your go-to products are not working, environmental factors do play a role in products not working. For example, some products work better in the winter and you know they are too heavy for the summer. So it depends on the season that you're in. Um, in the summer, we tend to have lots of humidity. So humidity interacts with the hair by the hair pulling the moisture out of the atmosphere into the hair and that creating frizz or poofy um, looking hairstyle. So you wanna use products that are humidity resistant in the summer. Gels are great options. We have a hemp flaxseed uh, curling jelly that is humidity resistant, that coats the strand and 
the limits the amount of moisture from the atmosphere getting in to your twist out to your curls to your wash and go so that the hair doesn't become frizzy so in the summer you want to use humidity resistant products you also want to use products that moisturize the hair but lightly light moisture you don't want any kind of heavy you don't want to use heavy products during the summer you want to use lighter leave-in conditioners or curl milks or gels that are humidity resistant foams are also great options to use during the summer during the winter months to seal in the moisture and stop dryness you want to do more deep conditioning treatments deep conditioning treatments help to restore the health of the, the hair and maintain a healthy hair, um, healthy hair balance. So use a deep conditioner more frequently during the winter so that your hair doesn't suffer from the harsh winter temperatures and becomes like dried out or brittle and breaking. So, in the, and during the winter, you also wanna use heavier curling products like curl, curl creams that have butters you would want to use um, a conditioner. You want more more co-washing conditioners. You would want to use use a shampoo and then use a co-wash. That is my suggestion. Um, during the winter, deep conditioning treatments, curl defining creams are great options. So if your hair is not responding to your go-to products, it may be because the seasons have changed and you know your hair just is reacting to the environment if this was helpful to you or if you've experienced any of these factors i i hope that you know what i've shared with you today will help you on your hair care journey another thing is you can you know experiment experiment with different products and see how they see how they work if the formula has changed um, from the products that you're used to using. So experiment with using different products, different techniques, but always make sure that you're maintaining healthy a healthy hair regimen by always using a shampoo to remove dandruff, debris, product buildup, and secondly, always doing a deep conditioning treatment. If you can't do it every week, try to do a deep conditioning treatment every week and a half. That will help restore the moisture back into your curls, keep them healthy, elastic, keep them shiny and not dry and brittle. You also would want to use a leave-in conditioner. Leave-in conditioners help the hair to not tangle like detangle the hair and moisturize the hair and helps to limit knots so knotting of the hair so you will want to use a, a leave-in conditioner also to seal in the moisture from the leave-in conditioner i recommend using a light oil blend that has you know castor well that has castor oil in it or a hobo oil something to seal in the moisture is recommended for healthy hair, um, healthy curly hair regimen. If you're going to use stylers, I would recommend using your gels with an oil blend. So a leave-in conditioner, oil blend, and a gel. Those are what I would recommend to use as a combination to get the shine, the definition, and moisture. So the leave-in brings the moisture the gel brings the definition and the oil blend brings the shine, right? Also, foams are great options because foams are more lightweight. If you're gonna wear a style that, like a wash and go or a twist out and you want your hair to be bouncy and defined, you can use a foam. Um, we have a great foam that is lightweight, that is made from hibiscus, flaxseed, and flaxseed oil so you know when you're using different products you want to make sure you're cleansing your hair properly I cannot stress this enough 
Cleansing is so important. Just how we clean our skin, we need to clean our hair and our scalp. And the only thing that does that is shampoo. So you wanna make sure you're cleansing your scalp. You wanna make sure you're doing your deep conditioning treatments. You're using a leave-in and you're using an oil blend. And whatever stylers you wanna use, I recommend using oils with gels and curl creams. You can use them with leave-in conditioners and oils, but definitely gels. I recommend using more with oils to stop the flaking and the buildup. I hope that this was helpful to you and I'll see you next time here at the Terranique Show.